a new package arrived. And you already know what it is because it's in the video title. Let's unbox it. Wow, look at this ghetto bubble wrap. MacBook Air. 13 inch MacBook Air. Oh my gosh, I should probably take off this wrap. Ugh, it's ripping into pieces. Wait, what am I doing? Why can't I just take a knife and just cut it like a normal apple box? Time for violence. The box feels pretty clean. Oh god damn it, I cut the paper a little bit. Either it was already like that or that just happened now. 13 -inch I bought it for my sister as a Christmas gift. And this video, including more content, is your Christmas gift. So everyone better be grateful that I'm spending over $800 on Christmas. And the seller put the box lid upside down, but that's fine. No plastic wrap right here. Why do you put everything upside down? Okay, it's a little bit dirty, but I should be able to clean it. Oh, I took out like two at a time. It's fine, I'll just use both of them. Good as new. Now let's see what's inside. Grand reveal time. Oh my god, it's kind of dirty. How the hell did this happen? Not kind of dirty, I meant really dirty. What the hell? I don't know what any of this stuff is, but I'll do my best to clean it as much as I can. And god damn it, the Mac turned on again. So first, I think I'm gonna use some compressed air. Oh my god, these stupid dogs. But I'm gonna use some compressed air and try my best. Okay, well this can ran out, so I got another one. It's a different brand. What is that? Oh my god, I didn't I did not tell you to turn on. Okay, paper towel and a mixture of water and hand soap. How hard is it to clean your MacBook before selling it? Not that hard. Why didn't the seller do quick start? Not shut up! Not that hard to just clean it before you send it out. Good as new. I think I'm done wiping the screen. Alright, closed it, then reopened it. Not that much dust came onto the screen. Look at that screen. Big improvement. Looks so much more better. Here's a before and an after. And now the only thing that's dirty is the keyboard, so let's give that a wipe again. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe it with a wet wipe and then let it air dry. Oh no, look at all the dust on the screen. No problem, easy solution. This is literally a brand new can of compressed air and I'm already wasting it. Can't believe there's actually people out there who don't clean their laptops regularly. And now I made a new mess. Okay, now I'm gonna take off the back cover and see how dirty it is and clean the inside of that. It's probably kind of pointless because the M1 Air has no fans, but I still want to clean the inside. I checked the serial number online and the warranty is still valid. I have to make sure I don't peel off the paint on the screws. Even though I'm pretty sure we're not gonna have any situation where we need to give it to the Apple Store, I still wanna make sure I preserve its quality. Oops. Oh. Yep, it looks pretty clean. There's only a small amount of dust, which I'll wipe right now. And as you can see, this MacBook has no fans. Can't believe they got the keyboard and screen more dirtier than the actual inside and outside. How irresponsible. Well, now to clip it back on. Ooh, clean. The voiceover quick. Wait. Okay, now that the MacBook's been clean, let's clean the charger. K 
cable wipe and just pull through. Oh my god. It looks like a bite mark at the end of this charger. Did someone dog bite this charger or something? Hopefully it still works. Ooh, look at all the dirt that came off the charger. Let's give it a second wipe. And lastly, the charging brick. Just giving it a quick wipe because it doesn't look that dirty. And yes, it does come with Apple stickers. They're gray Apple stickers for some reason. I'll give the inside of the box a quick wipe because I'm keeping this box. Okay, I'm just going to set up the MacBook to make sure everything's working like the webcam, the microphone, Touch ID, and all that stuff. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. You can change it later in system preference. Hey Siri! Yep, Touch ID is working. And we're finally in. It's on macOS Big Sur. And the webcam's working. How about the microphone? How about the microphone? Yep, that works. Let's also test out the headphone jack, which she's probably never going to use because she has AirPods, but still, let's test it out anyway. Hello. Yep, that works. Do the USB-C ports work? This one works. Does it transfer data though? And yeah, there it is. That's my iPhone. And data goes through just fine. What about the other USB-C port? Yep, that works. And we have to test the MacBook charger that looks like it was bit by a dog. Alright, that works. Gotta test out Bluetooth as well because she's most likely going to use AirPods on this. Alright, everything works fine update because why not have the latest features look at that Wi-Fi speed gotta clean the box before I put it on my collection shelf because who knows where it's been one week later The next day and it's updated now it's on the latest version 250 gigabytes of storage this should be enough for her because right now she has a 128 gigabyte model okay so I just made some slime off camera you guys remember in 2017 when everyone would make slime and I'm gonna use that to get the small pieces in the keyboard just squish I don't know if this is working because the gap between the frame and the keys are really tiny. So yeah, that's all I have to show you guys about this MacBook Pro. I mean, Air. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.